Um, so we're going to try something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going to pass this uh, string around and if you could just like keep passing it to the person next to you and, and until we get kind of all the way around the whole room. Um, and, and just as, as you're passing that around, I'll just uh, kind of continue talking um, and, and talking about today's reading. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, there's a very specific issue that always comes up when I talk with colleagues or um, Bible study groups um, or, or anyone else, these specific verses, and, and it's this. It's, um, it's that the group that Jesus is talking to claims Abraham as their ancestor, but then they also claim to never have been slaves to anyone, but Exodus happened. God led the chosen people, right, the descendants of Abraham, out of Egypt, away from Pharaoh, fleeing slavery there, their, their captivity there. So what's going on? Are they, you know, um, and maybe they're just like compartmentalizing, just completely separating those two things. We are descendants of Abraham, but we specifically have never been slaves to anyone. Um, or, you know, maybe they didn't learn that part of their history or possibly forgot. I mean, I, I don't know. It's a really interesting thing, though. And it, and it also makes me wonder, like, how do we define ourselves and, and remember who we are and how who we've been, all of it, you know, and where we've come from, what we've inherited plays into that. Um, sometimes I, I honestly, I think we forget or, or just maybe selectively remember. Um, but I do think that happens. We forget parts of our own history, our, you know, practical like history book history, our heritage and our past. Um, but then I think we also forget other things too parts of our current life. I mean, even just this, you know, these past couple of years, um, as things have kind of been what they've been, we can forget where our community is, you know, with those family gatherings or, or our town gatherings or, or even our church and how that connection to our community helps us live and grow. Um, we can forget our theology, um, that we, that we can't earn our way to heaven. The Bible tells us that, that we are saved by grace through faith, apart from works. We can't earn our way to heaven. And here we are, you know, Reformation Sunday. The Reformation, uh, you know, was largely about remembering, rediscovering, and kind of course correcting um, based on, you know, rediscovering that part of our heritage and history that had um, been missed or set aside or forgotten and, you know, kind of slid to the extreme until it became, you know, some, some incorrect theology and, and harmful doctrine like works righteousness, which had taken its place. Um, but we can't do that. We can't earn our way to heaven through our own actions. I mean, it's right there in the Bible. We, and we can't do that. Um, but at the same time, we can't take that too far though either. Because even if we're assured of our justification, we still have a life to live and a history that influences that. And we can't forget that. We can't forget that there's still more of our story to go. We can't forget that being justified or forgiven of our sins doesn't mean that we've somehow like miraculously become a perfect person. Um, it, it, we still have to work at that, um, at doing good and being good for the sake of the world God made, right? We've, we've been justified, um, we've been forgiven and saved, um, but we're still working. We're still a work in progress, right? We're still, that Holy Spirit is still working on us to make us uh, better and better people and to uh, help us to see how we can make the world better too. Uh, the Bible also tells us to be a neighbor to our neighbors, and it takes practice to remember that. Um, but, you know, hey, the things that start as intentional practices um, and rules, you know, they become internalized, like, like habits. Um, maybe you at one point had to take out the garbage or do the laundry because someone said so, like a, a parent or a sibling or a guardian. Um, but later you kind of see that that's become a habit and that those habits and that standard have become 
automatic and help you live a better life. Maybe, maybe you have to apologize for something you said because someone told you to, right? Say you're sorry. Um, but later you become more aware of what you're saying in the first place and, and sort of understand a bigger picture how your words and actions affect other people. And maybe, you know, I'm just going to name it. Maybe you have to go to church <laughs> um, because of, uh, you know, your parents or, or a confirmation expectation or something. Um, but later, hopefully, hopefully, it becomes part of your week where you see the people who, who share your faith. And you get to be reminded of your value and the love that God has for you. And that's, that's so important to be reminded of because, you know, we're human and we forget. I hope you'll remember, though. I hope you'll remember that you are forgiven and made right with God because of God's grace for you in Jesus. I hope you'll remember that that frees you from having to earn your way to heaven. So you don't have to worry about that. I hope you'll remember, though, that that also transforms things too, right? And that you are called to live your life transformed by Christ and to be a neighbor to your neighbors. I hope you'll remember that you're connected to God. I hope that you remember that you're connected to a community, to this community. Um, that string has kind of made its way around the room. Um, so as you go from here, I'm, I'm actually going to invite you to take a piece of that string with you as a reminder. Um, and I'm just going to come around and, and cut it into sections. Um, and you can tie it around your wrist or, or your keychain or your purse or whatever. And, and when you see it, just take a moment to remember. Remember that connection, that calling. Remember the messages of these past few weeks. Everyone here makes a difference. That includes you. Like the string, uh, this community isn't the same without you, without any one person here. Uh, it's not the same without you. It's not, without, it's not the same without your neighbor either. Um, and, you know, being here is hopefully beneficial to you. You maybe see that friend or teacher or mentor and are reminded of the gospel message and the meaning um, of it in your life. Um, but also, you know, you being here is beneficial for your neighbor. Um, you might see them, um, but also they get to see you and, and to be reminded of that for themselves too. Uh, sometimes we're supported and, and sometimes we support, you know, that's, that's community, that's connection, like the string. And I hope as you go from here, you'll remember that there's more string too. <laughs> it's nowhere near done yet. Um, this isn't a closed system. It's not finished. Um, but I hope you'll remember that you belong in it, that you make a difference. You belong. Amen. <laughs>